in that um, in that course, in that, in that, the course in, on your website. Yeah. I mean, is there I mean, is there any part of the module that covers this? I mean, how you do these analyses and all? Well, you want to learn the course before you buy the course. No, basically, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm actually buying. I'm buying the course I, by God's grace this week. You want me to teach you the course before you buy it? Uh, the question you're asking is the same question somebody actually has a similar question somebody asks. And when we talk about technical okay. analysis, number one is that you need mm. to learn, know how to use trading view. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because this is where all of the technical analysis, the analysis we are making, everything, this is where it takes place. There is mm. a video there that teaches you um, how to start with um, trading view, you know how to use drawing view. Then after knowing how to use trading views, some of these tools you see here, all of these drawing tools you see here, you need to know how to use them. The indicators are countless. When I come in here to indicators tab, the indicators here are countless. But we have given, like here on the course, if I come into the course here, we've highlighted a lot, in fact, the most important indicators you should know. So if I come in here to the curriculum, it's simple now. The, the course highlight, everything is here on the curriculum. So these questions you guys keep asking me, you are not the first person. I've had like two of those questions. So if you come in here, everything is highlighted here. Now, understanding charts and technical analysis, that is when all of these uh, analysis comes in play. So when you come in here, you see what is technical analysis, you see market circle, you know, candlesticks, how to support, support and resistance, which is what I'm showing you that Whenever this coin start trading above the average price here, which is around 53, um, I was actually doing that with Bitcoin, which is around 53 or thereabout. So you should be able to know that we are in a bullish market, in a bullish run. But we've been going down, 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 and as you see now, the market has um, actually started uh, surviving and the rest. So it is something what do so If I come back to the cost here, uh, those spot, you know, support and resistance, drawing trends, lines, and then multiple time frames, you know, volume profile indicator. These are all things that has to do with technical analysis. All of these that are listed here are, they have to do with. In fact, if you are buying this course, your focus should be on this. Your focus should mm -hmm. be should be on all of this. You understand? Yeah. So your focus should be on all of this. If you know this, then once you know how to analyze this. The other one of how to buy, how to trade futures, this one you can, is something you can just ask question. If I tell you one to now, you should be able to know how to do that. So, but majorly, mm -hmm. the essence of this course is all of these things that are listed here. Because if you know how to analyze the market, that is just the basic thing. Know how to analyze the market, when to buy, when to sell, you know, where to put your stop loss, where mm -hmm. to put or take profit and the rest. Once you are good with, you know all of those, then you are good to work. Start making decisions that can profit you in the market and start trading the market yourself. Uh, okay. All right, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any question? Uh, hello, hello, good evening, Mr. Alina. Good evening, my boss. Uh, <laughs> good evening. Uh, Thanks for the presentation. I I bought your course. Okay, I bought it, and it's very, 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 very helpful. Um, something I just want to, I want to ask is a, um, position sizing. As in, a kind of when someone is having a small, um, uh, a kind of maybe like hundred dollar account to trade uh, futures. So this position size, I, I always find it difficult to know how to, to calculate it, to know what exactly the, your, the, 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 this thing that you, you, are, you are putting in, in, the, uh, in the trade and to know the exact amount that you are going to lose in case the, the trade goes out. So which uh, change are you using? Binance. Binance. Everybody uses Binance. Okay. All right. So 
can log in. Um, let me log into my account while I'm trying to do that. So if there's any other question, you can go ahead and ask. Okay, oh, thank you, Mr. Leo. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, someone wants to know, uh, uh, is there a link to know this course? To there be a link you can, or a, one of your listings can share on the group? Uh, a, a link to do what? Lend this um, trading on features. Understanding. You mean to uh, take to take the course? Yes, sir. Uh, once you make payment, you have access to the course. Now, once you make payment, you have direct access, right? One hand direct access to the course. It's not. Uh... Okay, so I'm asking. So the bottom of the world, the uh, account, the link, the details. Yeah, you can pay directly from the website or you can um, actually, some, if you cannot pay from, you can pay with crypto, you can pay with, um, I'm sending the link to the chat. Uh -huh. You can Thank pay you. with um, bank transfer if you want. I send a candidate, you pay with bank transfer or you can pay with uh, your credit card. So those are the options you have to make payments. So once you go follow the link to the website, if you cannot pay with any of the either the credit card, the either stuff, just um, let me know. The amount is not is the amount there, sir. The amount is there. This is for now. This is what they're paying. At the end of this month, I'll remove this amount. It will go back to fifty thousand there. So the the earlier you jump into the bonanza, the better. If not, once I change it to 50K, anybody that wants to buy that cause will have to pay 50K. You say how much that. is it now? Right now, are you seeing my screen? Okay, I was not sharing screen actually. This is what it goes for. This is a, the amount it goes for. So all you just need to do is if you add this to card, automatically it directs you, it redirects you to the payment page. So once I click on add to card here, it automatically redirects you to the payment page. And on the payment page is when you are going to create your account. So here you put in your name, you know, fill in these details. At the end of the day, you choose the option in which you want to pay. If you want to pay with uh, crypto, you choose this one. Here, when you choose Bitcoin and uh, other crypto, you have the um, option of paying with USDT, BTC, whatever it is. Automatically, it can place this amount of 5,500 for you. You pay in crypto or you can pay with your credit or debit card. Then if you cannot use any of this option, if you can't afford to use any of this option, you will then send me a message, I'll send the account, you do a transfer to and I'll grant you access to, to the cost. So right now it's going for five, five. And then at the end of this month, it will go back to 50,000. Um, so to go back to the um, first question, the, the question I got um, right now, so you want to know how to calculate your position, your sizing and the rest, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, what you need to understand is, um, first and foremost, you want to trade features. Mm -hmm. I've said it time without number that the difference between isolated and cross margin is that when you are trading with isolated, whatever amount of money you trade with, that amount of money becomes your the, the what you are actually risking. Then when you are trading with cross, cross trade with the whole amount you have on your account. Cross margin trades with the whole amount you trade you, you have on your account. If I click on this and I change it to cross, I'll go ahead and confirm this. Right now, the price of Bitcoin is at uh, 43,700 or thereabout. So if I want to trade, let me say I want to reach a certain amount of money and know the amount of money I'm going, I'm going to be losing. I will come in here and use this calculator option here, first and foremost. If I come in here, now the first thing to do is select the number of leverage you want to use. So the essence of this leverage is that you don't really need, if you want to trade Bitcoin, if you want to trade one Bitcoin, you don't really need um, 43,700 or 44,000 to be able to trade one Bitcoin right now that is why that is the difference between features and um sport if i want to trade sport and i want to buy one bitcoin i need 
the exact 43 or whatever the current price of Bitcoin is right now to buy one Bitcoin. And in that case, when it is bought, I own that Bitcoin. If the price goes down today, I still have that one Bitcoin. If it goes up, I can sell it. But on, on as features, you are simply leveraging on the opportunity these exchanges has given you to trade with a little amount of money. So first you choose your leverage and the higher the leverage, the lesser the amount you'll be trading a particular uh, coin with. But the closer your, uh, uh, as in your liquidation, the closer you can risk, you, you know, you can, your account can easily get liquidated. And once your account is liquidated, in this case, if you are trading with cross, you lose everything. So here first, I'll go ahead and select my, the size of my liquidation. Let me say I want to go with 50X. So once I go with 50X, now the current price I want to enter with, I want to enter at 43,700. Let's say 43,700. And then I will exit this price. Okay, let me go with 100X. I will exit this price when Bitcoin gets to 44,000, for instance. So how many Bitcoin do I want to trade? I want to trade one BTC. Because I'm trading BTC, it is BTC that is selected here. That is why I'm giving the option to select Bitcoin. So I want to trade one BTC. I'll go ahead and press on this calculate. So once I calculate it, initial margin, it means that to trade one Bitcoin, because I'm using 100x leverage to trade one Bitcoin, instead of costing me 43,700, it is going to cost me um, 4,000. 437 sorry it is 437 dollars 437 dollars is um at, this should be is it 10 percent of 47 000 or about can someone do that calculation for me what's the percentage um this should be is it 10 percent or one percent of 43 000 i can't really see so it means that if bitcoin moves from 43,700 to 44,000, i am going to make a profit of 300 dollars and the reason for this is because I am using 100X leverage. If I reduce this to, okay, that is 10%, thank you. So this is, um, instead of trading the whole amount, because I'm using 100X leverage, I'm only, I only need 10% of that amount to be able to trade one Bitcoin. You understand? If I go ahead and put in two Bitcoin here, or three, this is, it means that I need 1,300 or thereabout to be able to trade three Bitcoin. And if it moves to, it is my target here of 44,000, I'll be making $900. Another thing you should note is if I reduce this leverage from 100X to 50X, once I reduce it to 50X, and I want to trade three Bitcoin, this time around, this money is going, you know, going to be more because I am using a lower leverage. The amount of money or margin that I need to trade that particular uh, uh, number of Bitcoin will be more. So if I click on calculate, instead of 1,300, I need, about 2,600 plus to be able to trade three Bitcoin. If I make it one Bitcoin, this is how much I need, 874, to be able to trade one Bitcoin. So the lower the leverage, the higher the amount you pay. So if I reduce it to 25X, this time around, it is going to cost me more, 1,700 plus to be able to trade this. So normally what I advise people, most especially for beginners, I say don't go above 20. Trade between 1X to 20X. 20 years is even too much. But if you have a reasonable amount of money in your account, you should be, be able to trade from one years to 20 years. In this case, if I'm trading with 20 years and I want to trade one Bitcoin, I need about $2,000 plus or, uh, in USDT to be able to trade this. So in this case, I will not trade one Bitcoin. I'll come in here and trade, let's say 0 0.03. For instance, if I trade 0 0.03, it means that I am risking 60 five dollars to make nine dollars that is if he hits this target in this case i can you know target like um let's say i target 45 or there about if it goes to 45,000, i i'll be making this you understand so this is what you calculate after you've calculated this let's say we want to trade 0 0.03 btc with 20x leverage if we long the market i want to take profit at 45,000. this is how much we are going to make and this is how much we'll be um risking for this now, since it's the 60, um, $65, I'll come back here to the liquidation price. Once I come to the liquidation price, I want to first select my margin, either cross or isolated. If I select cross and I'm trading with 20X, it's going to calculate this based on the balance of my account. Now here, you, the, you hardly see liquidation. So if I come in here, my entry price will be 47, 43,700, right? That is what we calculated, 47,300. And the quantity I want to trade with 20x leverage is um, 0 
0.03. This is what I want to treat. If I go ahead and calculate, you see that it will not give me any sign for liquidation. What is the reason for this? I have 10,000 in my account and I'm trading with the cross margin. There is no liquidation. If I change it from cross to isolated and I'm trading with 20 years, the same amount of Bitcoin and I go ahead and calculate, Okay, because I still have enough money on my account, I think, um, let me change, sorry. Let me change this to isolated. Bring the calculator again. So here on the liquidation tab, we want to go with isolated option, 20X leverage, we want to enter the market at 43,700. And then we're trading 0 0.03 BTC. Okay. Uh, yeah, this if the balance is this, you hardly see your liquidation. So if your balance is this, you hardly see your liquidation. Let's say your balance is 100. And then I go ahead and calculate. If your balance is 100, then you'll be liquidated. If you're entering the market at 43,000, you'll be liquidated when the market goes down to 40,000, 40,500. Liquidation means that you are going to lose that amount of money. We calculated 63, right? For trading this um, this um, amount of zero Bitcoin. Point, yeah, yeah, 0 0.03. What it will cost us actually to trade this is around 65 dollars, 65 years. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you don't put stop loss, in this case, when you are liquidated, you will lose this $100 since $100 is your balance on your trading account. Now to even do that, let me practicalize that and show you what is possible. If I come in here, let me open a long position with a market order. First, I will open a long position with a cross margin, and then I'll open another one with um, isolated margin. So I choose cross margin. And another way to calculate this, as I using that calculator, the guy who has this question, another way to do this is this slider yeah. that is here. Binance has given you this slider here. If you don't know the amount you are going to trade in BTC, just change it, click here and change it to USDT. Once you change okay. it to USDT, use this slider. If I use 2%, it means that it is 2% or 6% of the amount of money I have on my account that the, this is going to use. Okay. If I go ahead and make it um, 25%, whatever 25% of this balance is, that is what the account is going to use. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, whatever mm -hmm. the 25% is, that is what it's going to use. But to show you that if I come in, I'm trading with the cross margin, I want to enter with the market price. So I'll sir, go ahead and use the, yeah. Uh, uh, sir, sorry, sir. Uh, the, uh, like this stage, you, this thing, this slider you try to use now. I want to ask, you said if I use that slider, maybe I slide to like 2%. So it means that since I have changed that BTC to USDT, it means that I'm using 2% of my account balance, right? Exactly. For the Exactly. Okay. Does it does it mean that that two percent I'm using for the uh, for the trade out of my account balance, it, and and I've already put a stop loss. Does it mean if I my stop loss is got it, that's the amount I'm I'm going to lose. No, 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 no. You that is why okay. I want to place this trade. If you put a okay. stop loss now, when you put a stop loss, you determine what you want to lose. Okay. If two percent of your account is going to cost you sixty dollars, okay. you put a, a cost a stop loss that if this market goes down minus uh, let's say zero point four, maybe that will now be instead of sixty dollars, it will now be um, um twenty or thirty dollars. If you hit your stop loss, it is that twenty dollars you will lose. But if you use isolated option and then it hits your liquidation price, you are losing that sixty dollars completely. Let me place this trade and explain that better for you. So I want to use 10% um, of my balance to place this okay. trade. I, I will not place, I put this stop and um, take profit and stop loss so that I'll show you. Um, let me place a trade for them, set it up to be able to show. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and long this market. I um, want to take profit at 40 or thereabouts. So I'll go ahead and long the market. And then the order has been placed successfully. So here you see the order. This is the order. The size 2% now, because I think I cleared that 2%, uh, okay, we use 10%. 10% of our account balance is this. This is around right. 2,000 plus. And then our entry price is at 47,800, 43,800. 
and then the current market price is 43. You, sorry, I can't see your, your screen. No. Uh -uh. Can anyone see my screen? Yes, yes, you can see. I can see the screen clearly. I can yes, see. Uh, okay, if others are seeing the screen, can you just exit and then log in again? I don't know why you're not seeing my screen. Uh, just exit the market and log in again, okay? Sorry about that. All right, so um, right now, this is the size we are trading. This is when we enter the market. This is the current price. We will be liquidated. Now we are going to be liquidated when this price, this market, Bitcoin gets to $26,000. That is when we are going to be liquidated, which is very rare, meaning that I can hold this position for days or for months to come. And whenever I hit my target, I go ahead and, um, and take profit. Do you understand? Now, the margin I'm trading with is 100x. So now that I've put this trade here, already the, the, the trade is in profit. So what I can do right now is to come in here and set my, um, my take profit and my stop loss. Do you understand? Okay. Because I didn't set the take profit stop loss before. I can now come in here now that this trade is on currently going and put my take profit and my stop loss. So when I put my take profit and my stop loss, so right now we will go ahead and set our um, take profit and our stop loss. So if I come in here on this, this is where I said uh, take profit stop loss for position. I'll just go ahead and click on this pencil to edit it. And then when I click on that to edit, so I'll go ahead and enter the price we want to take profit. Now, since we have this price at this far, and I'm, I'm zooming or I'm just guessing that the price of Bitcoin will get to 50,000. So I'll go ahead and put 50,000 as my take profit here. Yeah? So if this market gets to 50,000, if Bitcoin today, or maybe before the end of this meeting, or a few days to come gets to $50,000, it means that I'm making $3,500 in this trade. Now, where do I put my stop loss? I'm already risking 200 and something dollars, closely $300 to do to this. Where do I put my stop loss? I'll go ahead and put my stop loss, let's say at 40,000. If Bitcoin comes down to 40,000, I want to, um, you know, 40,000 with it, the whole of our money. I don't want to risk that. It, it all depends on you what you want to actually risk. So here I'll go ahead, right now it's 43. Let's say we want to put, when it comes down to 42, That means, um, let me do that 40,000 actually. If it gets down to 40,000, it means that I'll be losing $203. So if Bitcoin reverses from 43, that will enter the market to 40,000, which is where my stop loss is. It means that I'll be losing $203. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, but if I allow this to be to go to the liquidation price, if it goes to the liquidation price, remember that we are trading with the cross margin. In this case, once it hits the liquidation, I will be losing everything I have on my account balance. Do you understand? So if I don't put stop loss here and it goes to my liquidation here, if it hits my liquidation price, I'll be losing everything I have on my trading account. Okay. Yes. So right now, because I'm using cross margin, right now that this trade is on here, I cannot transfer out this money from my fusion account because already I have staked the whole of this account for this trade. Do you get? Yes, I get. So if it hits my my uh, target, if it hits my my liquidation price here, I'll be losing everything on my account. But in this case, to be safe, I am risking 250 and I want to lose like 200, for instance. I just go ahead and you know use this top you take profit and stop loss to set everything. And when he hits that target, if it goes in my favor, I make profit. If you go against me, I lose the money. That is that for cross margin. Now, if I go ahead to trade another coin, I'll go to Ethereum and trade, um, let's say on Ethereum, we want to trade, um, we want to use the isolated margin. So I'll go ahead and change this to isolated and click on confirm. Just kindly mute yourselves, okay? Uh, now. I have one, the first one here, this one is on 20X. And this one is, the first one here is crossed. This one is isolated. Now on the isolated, because I'm risking, what I traded with, I think it was 10% of my balance, which is around 400. It is this high, the amount I'm risking is because I'm using 20X. Now, 
this is what this would have cost us ordinarily if we are not using leverage. And then this is how much it is costing us right now, around let's say approximately $500. So the liquidation price, you can see that the liquidation price is very close, right? We enter the market at 3,377. Three, and then we are going to be liquidated when this market goes down to 3,222. That is because we are using isolated. That is because we are using isolated. Now, if I go ahead and add more money to this by editing this, this is some of the things a lot of persons do, but adding money to this, your margin will not increase your profit. The only thing you can do is to reduce or you know, push down your liquidation price down. Okay. If, if I did margin here and go ahead, this is 479, right? Let me make it 500. If I go ahead and add money here, let me see, I want to add, um, let's add $50 to it, for instance. Or let me add 200. Remember the liquidation is at 3,223. So if I go ahead and add 200, instead of 400, now it will now be 600. So if I go ahead and confirm this, now from um, 400, to 600 because I added, it has pushed down the liquidation price to 3,100. This is the only thing this margin, adding a, a money to your margin can do. So when you add to your margin, it will not increase the price. The price will still be calculated with, or the profit you are going to be making will still be calculated with the initial money you enter the market with. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be calculated at 20 years leverage or 20 years we entered with. Is going to be calculated with the initial 479, not with this current 600. The 600 adding margin, using this option to add margin, can only push your liquidation price down, but it doesn't add to the profit you'll be making. The profit will be calculated based with the money initially you enter the market with. So one thing I, I will advise here is instead of when you see that the market is going against you and then you want to add margin, instead of adding margin, you can additionally buy from you know let's say your liquidation price is at 3153 if this ethereum gets to 3000 um one you you'll be liquidated at 3153 if it gets to 3000 um 160 for instance i will place another buy order so in that case it will not shift that what that will not do is that it will not shift your entering price from you know, 3,300, it will not shift it to either 3,200 or 3,100, depending on when you entered the market. That case, you will be making profit faster when, you know, the market starts reversing. So this is basically, I, I don't advise anybody to do this, but uh, majorly, I noticed that a lot of persons will be doing that. So um, it won't be okay. actually necessary okay. to, be, to be doing uh, that. So uh, be, be very okay, careful. Sir. Yeah, so I get it. I, I I'm, I'm getting it. Like like this uh, isolated uh, position, you you are using twenty x. Let's say for instance, you 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 use ten x. You know the your liquidation price doesn't mean that now your liquidation is about uh, three thousand one hundred or thereabout. Doesn't mean if you have used ten x, is it going to affect the liquidation price? Or now, what, what affects the liquidation price is the amount of money you are trading with. Your margin is what determines the liquidation price. Before I do that, let me just show you. Now, to avoid this liquidation, if I'm liquidated, I am going to, because I'm using isolated on this Ethereum, if I'm liquidated, yeah. I will be losing 679 as against this one that will reach the whole of account, account with. Okay. So if I'm liquidated, I'll be losing 600 and 79. That is what it means if you don't put stop loss. It means that you are ready to lose this money. But if I go ahead and I did this take profit and stop loss, let's say I want to take profit when Ethereum gets to 4,000. And then I want to take my stop loss. My, my liquidation is at 3,100. So before it gets to 3,100, I can just go ahead and put, um, let's say I put my stop loss at 3,200. So in this case, instead of losing 600, I'll be losing just 500. You understand? So if I bring it upward, let's say to 3,300, three, um, 3, for instance, I'll be losing 200. So you put your stop loss in order not to lose the total amount of money you are risking here. You understand? Now, to come back to the, to the question you just asked now, let's use the calculator and calculate. So liquidation is calculated based on your margin. 
let's uh, come in here, we want to calculate for liquidation price here. So what we'll do, if I enter the market at, um, if I enter the market at, um, let's say, which one are we calculating for BTC or Ethereum? We're calculating for Ethereum, yeah. And then we are using isolated. So with 20X leverage, if I enter the market at 3,000, what was that our entry price? It was um, entry price 3,375. 3,375. If I enter here, and then the quantity we are trading, quantity of um, each, What's the quantity we are trading? Um, okay, it's actually 2.84 Ethereum. That is the quantity we are trading. So if I go back here, 2.84 to the calculator, we want to calculate liquidation. We are long in the market with 20 years. I will enter the market at um, 3,375. And then we are trading 2.8. Four nine Ethereum, and what we risked was this. So this is the amount of money we are risking the market. So if I go ahead and calculate this, it means that this is where you'll be liquidated. So you'll be liquidated here. That is because I removed the fraction that you know came with this sixty nine and then about. But if you use 10x, if I go ahead and use 10x to calculate this, and then with the same amount here. Sorry, insufficient wallet balance. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's go with the initial 497 and calculate this. Okay, maybe if my trade is running in loss now, it is it, that means um Bitcoin has taken the position actually. Bitcoin, because I'm trading now, this is because I am trading with cross margin. So right now, if this is running, okay, this is the reason for that. Ethereum is running at loss, Bitcoin is running at loss. So um, Bitcoin is securing the position for this, um, what's it called, this uh, BTC. You see that from 26, liquidation price from 26, it has uh, shifted off to 27. So that is why it is complaining, this calculator is complaining here. But normally, as I was saying earlier, your liquidation price is determined based on the amount or, uh, or, tree, or the amount you have on your balance or the amount you're trading with. That is where your liquidation price is based on. If I trade with 20 X, the more the liquidation, the more the amount of money I have, the lesser liquidation I, I get. For instance, if I trade to Ethereum with uh, $2,000, the liquidation price will be around either 2,900 or 2,800. I don't know if you get the gist, but because I have to yes. trade open at the same time, and then all of them are running at loss, I will not be able to calculate it because this has been, my liquidation price has shifted and that alone is securing the balance I have on my account. I don't know if this is um yeah you um, something from okay okay yes I get it thank you all very right. much all right thank you okay any any other question this to this I, I want to add uh, um I have a little question here yeah. okay uh I want to find out um on this uh bit debt on the future trade. If you are doing a copy trade and your trader is on with some of your trade, is it advisable for you to pick a trade and trade as in trade yourself while uh, the copy trade is going on? Yes, you can trade yourself even when the copy trade is going on. You can still trade on, go to the futures tab and trade. In as much as it's not, it's not the same uh, coin that the trader is trading. It's not the... Yes. Okay, you can't trade the same coin. That the trader is trading. If the trader is trading, maybe longing the particular BTC or their part, you can't go and say long again now. It will be if okay. the trader lose that trade, you are losing everything on your account as well with the one you are trading with. Or maybe the trader okay. is longing that one and you are going to short it. So it should be, you know, uh, just I'm trading. If it is any other token, trade any other token aside the one the traders are currently carrying on. Okay. Mm. All right. Good right. evening. I have a question, please. <laughs> Go ahead and ask a question. Yeah, yeah. I'm a newbie, so for the first time, just joining this um, Zoom meeting. So I came in when you were explaining how to register. 
Okay. Yeah, for the course, yeah. So, should we help you register or you want yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. You say? You want to register or what exactly do you want? Me to no, do? I want to register to, to learn. I'm a newbie. I don't know anything about. But you know how to solve the internet, right? Yeah, I know to, yeah. Because some of the things a lot of persons ask me, after registering for this course, they want me to teach them how to you know, navigate their phone, how to navigate their, I don't do that. I only teach you basically what it is assumed that you already know how to operate your computer, how to solve the internet and the rest. So if you just register for this course, uh, okay. Once you log into your account, once you log into your account, you have access to, you know, to the course itself, uh, where you can, you know, some are uh, text, some are videos. Majority of them are videos. Actually, you go through the video courses, and if there so is any where question, do I get the link? Where do I get the link I, to I have posted, register? I've posted the link on the chat. I posted the link on the chat. Okay. Yeah, so you can follow that link. It takes you directly to this page you are seeing here, and then you can sign okay. up for for the course. But if you have right. difficulties, just chat me up on WhatsApp and I'll see how I can assist you on that. All right, then. So on the chat, let me see if I can see you now before you just, before you leave, please. It's all right. Please start. Uh, uh, a quick one, sir. I just, I, I normally hear people like, if you are having, I seem to, when you are having, uh, a smaller account on this future of a thing. Because I think maybe it is only people that have uh, a big account that can trade these futures. Like $100 accounts. People will say they, they, are, they, they trade with a, a small position. Uh, when, they, when they trade, they, they only lose ten, uh, $10 when they trade in case they lose uh, they, they eat, eat their stop, uh, stop loss. They can only lose $10. Or Maybe the, the trade go, goes in their way. They will make some money. I, so I, I always find it difficult to understand. I think it is only people that have bigger account that can trade these futures. So I... No, no, no. Features. No. Features, features, in fact, if you want to grow a little amount of money to a big amount of money fast, trade features. Mm. But the same way it is, it makes you grow your account faster. It is the same way you can lose your account faster. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if you want to grow yeah. a little account to a very reasonable amount, you trade features. With $10, you can trade features. With $5, you can trade features. You understand? Now, look at this chart here. This is somewhere around the October, November, or there about. This, this line you're seeing, all of these green candles you're seeing here. It means yeah. that for the number of days here, one, two, three, or whatever, 20 days or 30 days, this market was in an uptrend. Yeah. So in that case, the, what we are budgeting, uh, we are thinking right now, if this market runs now, start running now, and then it continues, it repeats what happened here this way. Today to close up, you know, to close with a green candle, a blue candle, a green candle, sorry. Tomorrow it closed with another green candle. Next tomorrow it trade with another. I can risk ten dollars here. Before you know it, when this market hits here, I can be making either a thousand or two hundred or whatever amount of money, depending on the number of leverage I'm using. Mm. You understand? So you trade the market. You can trade a little features with a little amount of money when the market is bullish and make a lot from it. Okay. Then a lot of person because you, you, they have heard, you know, it switch or it always switches them when they say, "Oh, you can trade with small amount." But then they will just enter the market blindly. That is why a lot of persons, even when you are trading with hundreds of thousands of dollars, you enter the market blindly, you can lose everything. If you don't learn how to make profit in futures with your little capital, you cannot make profit when you have bigger capital. Mm, yeah. So with $10, with $20, with any amount of money you have, you can trade futures. The most important thing is learn how to manage your risk. Don't say, oh, if, it has, if, if this market has gotten here, oh, I would have made profit because of that, you just let your trade go. And then as it's going, you are looking at it, you know, you are just convinced and you are praying and calling fire that the market will reverse. Before you know it, your account will be liquidated and you lose everything. So it is common. In fact, in managing your emotion is one of the biggest risks when it comes to trading features, trading Forex and the rest. If you don't know how to do that, you will lose your entire yes. account. So with a little amount of money, yes, you can start trading features. Just learn how to you know understand the basics and then you that you can get started 
So please, I have a little problem. I got my prime boat activated, so I deposited $1,000 there. So I went ahead to open two trays. And the first one, I used $100 to open the trade. Right I'm speaking with you now. I don't I don't know my faith actually. They are telling me to they're telling me insufficient fund. Insufficient fund. Replenish or something something like that. I don't know what to do. It has been two days now. I've not made anything from it. Which of the coin I don't know. You, which of the coin did you trade? Yeah, it's a link, sir. Okay. Link and what? Okay. Is a link a closed one right now? Is link just link? Did you close that one in profit? Yes, was it in profit? Yes, okay. And the uh, this other one you are trading, you say it was, um, uh, as in the hundred dollar was, was it your first purchase price? Yes, my first purchase price sir. as hundred dollars. Yes, you use the split matting strategy. Yes, sir. How many split did you select? Two. Two split. Yes, sir. Uh, and then, sorry, two split. And did you check this one? A dimming double position. It, it was it on or off? Mm -hmm. hmm? It was off. Double position was off. It was off. Now, uh, since you are using hundred dollars, I mean, what percentage is you seeing there? What a minus what? Uh, what percent are you seeing there? Okay, right now I am seeing minus twenty nine percent. The minus, first split minus twenty nine. Now, the first split. What number did you put for the first in the first cover, second cover? What number did you put here? The first split. I'm seeing minus five point zero seven. Hold on, second, hold on. Hold on. Are you seeing my screen? No, no, let me go back to your screen. Yeah, I'm seeing your screen now. Now, you said you use Martingo, uh, split Martingo strategy, right? Yes, sir. And then the number of split was two, right? Yes, sir. So on the split here, down here, which, which number did you put on the first cover here? I think it's a two. The second one, Nico? Same two. Okay. Now, let me share this other screen with you and let you know why it is showing you um, insufficient form. It means that you need to deposit, since you do not use double position and yeah. your trading capital is $100. It means that to cover for the first split, what you needed was $700. Yes. So it has covered for the first split with your 1000 and then the remaining one can no longer cover for the second split because you need additional $700 to cover for the second split. Okay. So you don't have enough funds to cover for the second split. That is why you are seeing insufficient funds or USDT error on your, on your board. Okay. You understand? Right now, the price of LINK, if we go back to the other screen, LINK is currently trading at... Um, So the current price of link is at 10, um, where is the price, where is the current price, current price. Let me go to trading view. When, can you remember when you enter the market? Yes, let me check. When I, when I entered the market, it was a, I can't, let, me, let me go to my screen, please. Okay. So link, link has been doing very well, actually, from the past few days. Yeah, it has been doing well. Okay. When I entered the market, it was 26, 93, what, 93, What the price for your liquidation, your liquidation price there, what is showing there? You said? The liquidation, like where you see, if you can see my screen, it says liquidation price. On the link, can you open the trade? What is the liquidation price that you're seeing there? The uh, is a 27.48. Exactly. So if this market goes to 27, right now it is retracing. 
if it goes down, it continues to go down, it means, it means that you are going to hold that position for a long time. But if it reverses and then it enters 27, that might, that uh, stuff will close and you will make a lot of money out of it. So don't, don't fear, just allow it to, 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 to rest. Next time, you just have to trade um, with a little amount of money, then you can cover that very well because uh, just as I shared with you now, with seven hundred dollars, with hundred dollars of first position, and then you are trading with a thousand dollars, it means that that will not can also cover the first place. Okay. Mm, so just so let it let it be. As I can see, this candle this candle could close up. If you close at twenty seven, you'll be in profit. So just let it be run for now. Okay. Mm. Thank. You. Okay, so that chart that you are using to show something, that's a uh, Excel sheet. Mm. Can you can you help us with it so that I've we can it. know? Yeah, on the WhatsApp group, right? Yeah, some, yeah. Who activated you? Yeah. I, I don't know his name actually, but I can call his phone number for you. Maybe you know. Uh, I activated him. I, I'm the one. Okay. okay. <laughs> They they have sent it to the chat. If you're on the WhatsApp, please tell him, uh, Tony, you can look for his number and make him admin of the, the, okay. the group so that he will be able to send messages there as well. Okay, he actually shared the screen with me, but the mistake he made is that for before he said the trade, he didn't tell me. It's all right. So he said the trade high, high way above his uh, capital. Capital, yeah, that's right. Just, okay, wait, that just wait for it. Now. Just wait for it. It will go in profit and you... you yeah all right that is it for today thank you guys i'm seeing more hands i'm seeing more hands john you want to say something yes sir okay what is it yeah good evening, good evening. i my question yes sir. My, my my question is on um Okay, uh, platform. I think I yes, sir. I think I asked Mr. Tony about about this too, and I can someone set up uh, his payment method. His ah, payment you, method. You see, you remember payment method? How? You As know. in yes, just like the way it is on Binance, because I was going to. You want it, to I, sell? You want to sell uh, crypto to your bank? No, I just want to add it should be case if I want to withdraw to, to add it once you go on yes. the app buy crypto when where it says buy sell crypto right you need to go to the yes, P2P tab you can assess that tab yeah, right? he, yes sorry, I he did that the, the issue sorry the issue he was having is that he was uh, looking for short code for, for code. yes short, short code for Kuda and we couldn't find you know Kuda is just one in Nigeria and it's an online. Uh, Bank, mm, it's not like yeah. commercial bank, uh, microfinance bank. So I couldn't get the short cut for okay. For that, for that bank. Code. I don't know if you have, mm. no, 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 leave the short, just put your account number on the short code option. All right, sir. Mm, just put your account number there and see. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. And another quick one is this, sir. Uh, I think for the benefit of the new beach, uh, people like us, when you're demonstrating, um, I'm going through the courses. Uh, when you're demonstrating this on the spot trading, I think you just like the way you did now by buying, then you sell it, then we will be able to know the process. This is how you sell it, and this is how you buy it. I think, uh, you know, it, it's uh, all right. Uh, that is why I'm actually having these meetings very often. If I wanted to dedicate this to a particular uh, platform, it would have been difficult. So I make it open when you go through the course, you have any problem, ask on the meeting like this or chat me up, then we can always address this issue. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I'm joining everything with the courses and the Zoom meeting. God bless you and God Thank bless you. everyone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for being here. We meet again on Friday, same time.